Today we are going to use our Revit plugin Instabar. I will be demonstrating all the features of the foundation tool. We will add rebars to the foundation and column. In the first run, the column will have rebars of one diameter and in the next run it will have a mix of two diameters. Then finally, we will extract the rebar quantities. To begin with, I am going to place two foundations, two columns and a beam using Instacrete. I am going to apply the phase property to the elements. That helps us to extract the quantities according to the schedule. Now we are ready to place the rebars. Let us open the dialog box. These two text boxes set the cover for the rebars. Look at this diagram. This is the bottom cover. And this distance is the top cover. This is the side cover. Set the bottom cover to 30 and side cover 20. Steel in X direction and steel in Y direction. To understand this statement observe this drawing. This is the steel in the X direction and the steel in the Y direction. I am going to set the diameter as 16, layout fix and quantity 6. You can see automatically these boxes are populated with the same value. Now regarding the rebar shapes. This straight rebar is shape M0 and this bar with hooks on both sides is shape M02. For this demonstration, I select this option. Let the hook length be 300. Face bar. What is a face bar? These are the face bars. Placed on all four sides of the foundation. I choose 8 as the diameter, distance 125 and 2 as the numbers of the face bar. Now, select this box if your design has the top mesh. You have to input the height of the bottom pedestal in this box. These are the settings for the top mesh rebars. Quite similar to the bottom mesh. In case you have a structural steel column, uncheck this box. So that you can place rebars only in the foundations. But, in the case of the reinforced column, you keep this box selected. That means the column starter bars would be placed along with the foundation rebars. Select a single option. In case if it is a combined footing, that means there are more than one columns on a single footing. Select the multiple options. Let us see what happens after we hit the OK button. Instabar prompts us to select the foundation. You can see this message on the status bar. I am selecting this foundation. You can see rebars have been placed. Now Instabar prompts us to select the column and then the beam. In this new dialog box set the settings for the column starter bars. If your design has a mix of two diameters, select this option. For this demonstration, we select this first option. Set this cover for the column rebars. This is going to remain fixed forever for the project. Let the number of rebars in the X direction be 12. You can see in this graphics window they are distributed as 6 each on the two sides. Similarly, input 10 as the number of bars in the Y direction. The rule is, Instabar will only accept an even number of rebars. And if you keep these zero values as it is, the column will have four bars. Now, in this area, set the setting for the column rebars. Let the diameter be 16, lapping 800. These are the miscellaneous settings. This is the stirrup and this is the distance between them. Only the main stirrup is placed in this region. This is the hook of the column rebar. Input 8 and 100 as the stirrup bar diameter and the distance between the stirrups. Let the hook length be 300. Hit the OK. Here you can see the column bars. Instabar prompts us to select the foundation. As we want to place rebars in this foundation and column. Select this foundation. Then select the column and then the beam. For this second run select this 2 diameter option. Select 12 as the diameter of the bar and 600 as the lapping length. 
let the stirrup diameter be 8 and the distance between the stirrup is 100. Hook length is 300. Now, we will have to select few dots in this graphic. The selected dots will be the rebars of 12 diameters. Select the dots so that symmetry is followed. You can see the selected dots turn into blue color. Hit OK. Hit the escape key. In the dialog box, click the cancel button. Ignore this message by clicking OK. Let us check the drawing. You can see the bars are placed in a staggered position. See the lapping 600 for 12 diameter bars and 800 for 16 mm diameter rebar. In this plan view, you can see a rebar of 16 and 12 mm. Finally, we will see this rebar quantity tool. Decide the folder in which you want to place this file. Name the file. Hit the save button. Hit OK. Let us check this Excel file. In the Foundation Steel tab, you will see all the rebars present in the foundation. F and S determines foundation steel. These are segregated according to the mark. So, this is the steel in the A1 foundation. The phase is January. And this is the steel in the A2 foundation. The phase is February. In the column steel tab, we will have rebar quantities present in the column. C and S determines column steel. These are segregated according to the mark. So, this is the steel in the A1 column. The phase is January. And this is the steel in the A2 foundation. The phase is February. This way we get steel quantity present in the foundations and columns. In the next tutorial, I am going to demonstrate these two tools. So stay in touch.